So a few days ago, I got the uh, kind of version two of the PCB for the door entry system for the local makerspace through. And I've put a few of these boards together now and they're looking fantastic. Uh, it's the first time I've used these uh, kind of little Molex connectors on a board and they work kind of brilliantly rather than kind of attaching directly to the PCB. It really does make this whole system modular. The, uh, I'm hoping to use this on a variety of different projects within the space and being able to kind of plug in and remove different parts. Some things might need a screen, some might not. Some might need an external accessory or a different type of display. And I think that this should just make it really, really easy to do all that. And I've kind of translated the original kind of uh, prototype circuit over with the OLED screen and worked kind of perfectly as expected. And the other thing that's new with this board actually is the uh, 24LC256, which is an EEPROM memory chip. Um, the onboard EEPROM is about 1K of memory and it's enough to store I think about 30 users details uh, so for offline use which is just on the edge of acceptability so I kind of um, I dropped on one of these uh, just kind of kind of little EEPROM chips with uh, hoping that it would work I didn't kind of prototype this beforehand and it's a, it, yeah it's working perfectly as well um, I switched over a few lines of code referencing this chip rather than the internal EEPROM and it works as expected this is up to 32K, so it's 32 times the amount of storage space, so it's more than enough to store everyone's details on here for offline use, as well as potential other future uses for us as well. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take one of these boards and I'm gonna attempt to retrofit it into the existing door entry system. Now that uses a traditional kind of two-line display, um, so I'm going to put an adapter on that to convert it down to the uh, I2C connection and that'll then plug into the kind of display port or generic I2C port on here and the, the RFID reader will need to be switched out with the uh, kind of slightly higher quality um, the, kind of the ID12 devices which I'm now using um, but other than that it should be pretty good to go I've also um, been putting together kind of little adapters and cables so I've got uh, WS2812 LEDs on a strip with a Molex connector on there, including a variety of other cables and bits and pieces I've put together for connecting other peripherals. And it just means the, having these connectors on there just makes life so much easier rather than kind of crudely soldering bits onto a board. It, it does mean it can be switched around and prototyped uh, really easily. Um, so yeah, that's uh, kind of the next step for this board, kind of actually tested in the wild. Um, once that's kind of confirmed and working, I'll move on to the, the next stage of, um, I guess, kind of moving ahead with the uh, access control system project itself, and um, kind of timing and relays and uh, access logging. So there's the whole online section to that, which is still to be built. Uh, but for now, it's um, actually getting this board tested in a real life situation.